parrot Peter, a mother of three, relocated to Joss about three months ago. She says the move was enforced after criminal gangs attacked her community in the Mango region, killing over 150 people. While her family now has some sense of peace, Parrot cannot yet enroll her children in school. We are still trying to find our feet in Joss, and the schools are expensive compared to where we are coming from. Back in the village, we farmed and used proceeds to pay their fees. It's painful seeing them stay at home. Parrot's children are among millions of Nigerians of learning age who are not learning. According to the United Nations Children's Fund UNICEF, one in three children in Nigeria is out of school, totaling 10.2 million at the primary school level and 8.1 million at the junior secondary school level. UNICEF blames the situation on several factors, from increased attacks on schools by insurgents and criminal gangs to poverty and traditional beliefs. Apart from tackling insecurity, which hits multiple aspects of society, Nigeria's education ministry says it also plans to make education more accessible by integrating hundreds of non-formal schools into the formal education systems. The government also hopes to build more schools to achieve its universal basic education policy, which stipulates free compulsory basic education for children. When a child wants to go to school and the parents can't even afford it, it's a big problem. And you know, another thing we also look at, it, it still goes back to funding. Most of our private schools now, they're actually business centers. So the school fees are so high that average Nigerian may not be able to afford sponsoring his or her child to school. The government plans to enroll 3 million out-of-school children by the end of this year. Its efforts have been widely praised within the education community. However, many argue this is only part of the problem and the quality of education also needs to be monitored and the welfare of teachers considered. Employing more teachers, making sure that um, the teachers are well paid because it is when they are well paid, they put in their best into it. And you know this idea of government, government thing. In fact, the government should run these schools as though they are private schools. That is when the standard will be there. Because it's the government that will be providing the funding. President Bola Tinubu has weighed in on the debate. He says the human aspect of education is as critical as the infrastructure and committed his government to giving special attention to the welfare and training of teachers, including curriculum development. The president doubled the budget for education from $600 million last year and it now represents more than 6% of the overall budget. However, education activists say this needs to be ramped up much higher, as recommended by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO. Tassim Akendi, CGTN Jaws.